If anyone's ever mean to you, just remember, they're gonna die. I mean, so are you, but... Beside the point. This fucking guy is always there. We need bombs from 2-1. Just hope they die first. I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter. What's cool about dying or somebody else dying is no matter what, who dies first, you don't see that person again. So... <laughs> I live to spite my enemies. Apparently, like, a lot of people who fucking live to be, like, 480 or whatever, like, say, like, the reason I fucking live so long is just out of fucking pure spite. <laughs> I'm like, damn. They gotta study that. <laughs> it's prolonging people's lives, and we gotta fucking harness the energy of, of spite. Put it in a pill form. Have you heard of the Egg Theory? Yeah, Egg Theory's cool. It's fun. Egg theory is really, really fun. You haven't heard of egg theory? If I'm correct, it's like this theory that we're, we're all... We're all essentially at our source. One second. One, two, three, four, five. Throw bomb. We Every time we die, we are resurrected as somebody else. So we're all the same person. We're just all experiencing ourselves. It's just the universe experiencing the universe. And then once you've gone through all of existence or whatever you ah you fuck that's when you can finally fuck there's like a weird form of buddhism for my ignorant ass there's some forms i i subscribe to a certain kind of thing that's adjacent to that in a buddhist sense where i i do believe that we are all fucking we all come from source energy you know we all come from the same thing and we're all one regardless of I, I mean you can break that up you can say like well i'm me and you're you and it's just like yeah but we all come from the same fucking star come you know like we're we're all beings of the same space ejaculate when you think about things like that it really kind of makes you think like well from a certain perspective we are all in this together but i think regardless of if it's scientifically true or not which i mean Whatever. It it provides a basis for a happier life, I think. You're all born to star come, but we have to pay rent still, and if not, then we get a big ass rock hurdle towards us. No, that's gonna happen anyway, but like it's just a question of whether or not the rock's gonna hit us before we're ready for it, or the sun's gonna eat us. Do you think by the time the sun will fucking eat us and we don't become extinct, we'll have a way to like make the sun not eat us or to transport our planet or all leave this planet. I don't know. I feel like as humans, we're probably just going to fucking leave if we don't fucking ex ex extinct ourselves. Did any of you guys have like a huge emotional fucking breakdown when you found out the sun was going to eat us? <laughs> when you were like seven or eight or whatever. You had that science teacher who was just like, one day you will die. And you're like, oh my God. So I was like, no! It's not going to happen for like fucking billions of years or whatever, but you're just like, no! Nah, I thought it was cool. All right. Wow. Look at these guys. They're so fucking brave. I cried like a bitch. Like, damn, that's going to suck. <laughs> Even though I'm probably, hopefully not going to experience. I'm like, damn, that's going to suck, dude. This day I lost my innocence, Jules. Did you come? <laughs> Did you? <laughs> the sun or the stepson? I need to know for science. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, stepson? No. I'm stuck in a black hole, stepson. Black hole stepson, won't you come? And then you'll come again before your post nut clarity ends. And it's gonna feel real weird. Damn, when I was learning about black black holes and shit, we had digital cameras. <laughs> or like we had those little fucking like rectangle cameras that was like as insane as those fucking cameras that like were on the consumer market went i remember filming like home movies on like a little fucking webcam hooked up to a laptop is uv light just sun jizz yes god damn i wish that science would just shut the fuck up <laughs> them fucking scientists just uh, yipping and yollering hipping and hollering all about this science shit Wish they'd just shut the fuck up. Oh, remember when Pluto was no longer a planet? Is it a planet again? By popular demand? Are they finally just like, yeah, fine, whatever. Have your stupid fucking rock. It's still a dwarf planet. God damn. Well, like, I get it, because isn't there like bigger fucking rocks just orbiting us and we just still consider them not planets? I'm just like, why the fuck is this a planet? 
and instead of make the other planets, who worked very hard to become planets, they just fucking... They just... They just banned all of them. Isn't Pluto made of ice? Pluto's made of cum. And you can't fucking scientifically prove me otherwise until you fucking go there and bring me back the Pluto ice or the Pluto cum. Rocks don't have Disney characters named after them. So true. And also, why is Pluto a fucking dog? Why is, you know, Goofy a dog, but Pluto's a dog? Strange. Why is one dog different from the other dog? What happened? If there's anything Mass Effect has taught me, it's that there's an FTL device inside Pluto's moon. Fuck yeah, dude. Goofy's a planet. What's up with that, man? I don't know. I think there's some weird fucking dog slave undertones. I couldn't tell which one that was. Oh, and I fucked it up. See, I thought it was that one. Bald dog who's become... I don't know, man. Kennel cub breeding? Yeah. What's the dog breed that can fucking talk and yeah. do that shit? What's the, what's the fucking dog breed that will get arrested and go, I can put, I killed them. And I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> Probably the funniest fucking thing. The short where Pluto got sick and Mickey took Goofy to the dog show. No. Scooby-Doo is Pluto and Goofy's child. Oh my God. I hate that. I really hate that. I really, really don't like that. Please un unsend that in my chat. Is Goofy Pluto kind of like us with apes? I mean, I guess. That's probably the best the best uh the best explanation for for that in in Disney lore. Yeah, Fortnite, we bout to get down. Damn, he's trying to get the fuck out of this level. That man was trying to make a break for it. Yeah, Goofy's got a kid. Also got a ride at Disney that's way too fucking janky. I was gonna do my own fucking like I made a tier list of all of my favorite Disney rides. Like when we did the thing with Jacob. Oh, I should have just fucking taken her. I should have just fucking taken her. Goofy movie is great. Way better than it has any right to be. And I've been like, you no, I always just time that wrong. Cause it's not, you don't do it as fast as you can. There's a little bit of a delay. Otherwise you just fuck it up. I don't know how a rich family history. Goofy just has a son. I'm sure there's goofy lore. As if all lore isn't goofy. Other than Dark Souls lore, the best lore. And Goofy's a close second. Petition to give Bomberman a Glock. Dude, I would fucking, I would die much more if Bomberman had a Glock. That's for fucking sure. You know anything about Mickey's family history? Listen, Michael Mouse is an enigma. How could Michael Mouse have, like, any lore that... Etrian Persona thinks from seven months that they they wouldn't somehow accidentally fuck up, you know, like by making like contradictions in the lore. Did you guys see the uh, Kaze is working on um, Super Mario 64 in, in Banjo Kazooie? It's not just like, oh, he's in there, haha, -ha, like actually trying to make it like in the same like engine and stuff. He just released a video talking about it. I think it's really cool. Probably play it and it's out. We're gonna be really red on this one. Okay, four seconds I feel like I can work with, but I'm always fucking resetting there because I'm like, I don't wanna have to fight against that when I could just reset and do it better. But no, common sense says do the fucking run. Having a blast. Ha ha!